How's everybody doing? I want to welcome you all to this uh, swearing in ceremony, the first one that we've had this year in 2018. I'm looking at this group and I won't call them out, but there's, there's quite a few faces in here that that I've known for many, many years to include a woman who used to be my executive assistant way back when I was a chief of professional standards. I won't call her out, though. She probably got a big old grin on her face at this point without me looking back. Can y'all pick her out? Yeah, that's the one. I just want to welcome everybody to the ceremony. I'm stalling just in case we have a couple of stragglers that um, are still yet to come. Um, it's a, it's a, a wonderful career path to be involved in law enforcement. The folks in the back of the room, and some of those are integrated who wear the uniforms, they've heard me talk about um, the history of the sheriff, the history of the office of sheriff, and, and some of the things that go into that. I told them, I said, I don't want to say the same things over and over and over every time y'all see me, because they'll get used to it and they'll say, well, we've heard this all before. But it is certainly <clears throat> a privilege and an honor to serve not only as the sheriff, but in a service-oriented profession like the men and women behind me are about to embark on. Some people in life are good with music. Some people are good with their hands. Some people are good carpenters, and, and, and they do metal work, and, and so on and so forth. That's the calling that they have on their lives. And some people have the honorable privilege to serve in a profession of service, where they get to serve society. And these men and women here represent not only their individual selves and their families, but they represent the office of sheriff. And the office of sheriff is bigger than you think. We represent the safety and security of the county. And there is no other office in the county that's higher than the office of sheriff. Me as the sheriff, I'm responsible for protecting the citizenry. And not only that, these deputies back here that are going to be sworn in and the civilian support staff are also swearing in to do the same thing. They're not sworn in to protect and serve. That's just a residual byproduct of what they're swearing in to do. When I, when I took my oath of office, my oath of office was to protect and defend the Constitution of the United States and the laws of the state of Florida. Now, a byproduct of that is I protect your rights through these men and women who are about to be sworn in. And that's the duty of those who are called to this life of service that we live. So without further ado, we'll go ahead and uh, get going with these oaths of office. And I'll start with my support staff personnel. Miss Lee, make sure I'm doing this right now. Okay, everybody's doing the first one. If y'all will, raise your right hands. Repeat after me. Not yet. Don't say not yet. It'll be I in your name, and then we'll roll from there. I, I a citizen of the state of Florida, and of the United States of America, and being employed by or an officer of the Clay County Sheriff's Office, or an of the Clay County Sheriff's Office. and a recipient, funds, a recipient of public funds as such employee or officer, such employee or officer do, hereby swear or affirm, do hereby solemnly swear or affirm that I will support the Constitution of the United States and of the State of Florida. Keep them right hands up, and this is for my sworn personnel. I do solemnly swear or affirm that I will support, protect, and defend the Constitution and government of the United States and of the State of Florida, that I am duly qualified to hold office under the Constitution of the, of the state, and that I will well and, that I will well and, faithfully, and faithfully perform the duties of deputy sheriff of Clay County, the duties of deputy sheriff of Clay County. on which I am about to enter. So help me God. And with that, 
you are sworn in, officially sworn in as deputies of the Clay County Sheriff's Office. And if, and if this crowd would, with me, give them a good round of applause. And you can put your hand down. We're not swearing in no more. Now, we'll pass each other in the hallways, and, and they'll say, hey, Sheriff, and I'll, I won't remember half the names that will be called today. But it's my duty to get to know each, each and every one of you personally and to welcome you not only to the Clay County Sheriff's Office family, but to find out what your future endeavors are and what your goals are and to help you through these men and women in leadership to achieve those goals. It's my honor and pri privilege to serve you, to, with you as, my, as your sheriff, but it's also an honor as a brother in this uniform to help you, help me protect these citizens in Clay County. So again, thank y'all. So now, Ms. Lee, I'm going to turn it over to you. I know y'all know what to do. You've practiced and rehearsed about these photos. The next thing that we're going to do, the next thing item on the agenda is to the presentation of credentials. And so each individual will get called up and they will be presented with their credentials. As we do the individual presentations, you are welcome to move to the middle aisle and stand behind our staff photographer they'll be um, presented in the order that they're standing so you can kind of see where your um, loved one is at First, we have public safety telecommunicator, Courtney Bowles.
Record Specialist Jerry Hilt. Public Service Aide Jared Holson. <laughs> Public Safety Telecommunicator Jesse Martin. Civil Specialist Deborah Solomon. Nurse Crystal Stallings, working in our medical section. <laughs> Civilian control room operator, Ethan Tate. Ethan's joining his father, Sergeant Mark Tate, here at the Sheriff's Office. Sergeant Tate, did you want to come up for a quick picture? Come on. Detention deputies, um, Pamela Canoe. Detention Deputy Ryan Fiddler. <laughs> Detention Deputy Sherry Manasseh. Detention Deputy Alexis Samayan. Detention Deputy Quinetta Warren.
Deputy Stephen Adams. Deputy Robert Bassler. <laughs> Deputy Jeremy Cox. Deputy Jamie Deputy Robert Mosley. <laughs> Deputy Patrick O'Rourke. Deputy Anthony Pena. <laughs> Deputy Luke Sykes. Sykes. Deputy Vito Terry. And last but not least, um, Deputy Michael White. Give them another round of applause. So this is the point in the uh, ceremony. And I don't know if we have our little junior deputy badges or who would be the person who have gotten those. You got them? But if you want your children to come up and be sworn in as little junior deputies, it would be the time to do it right now. You come up with if you need to.
Just hang. She said she got one on the way. Just hang in there for a couple more months. And we'll, we'll see you soon. <laughs> yeah, not right now. Well, I want to, again, thank you all for coming out to the ceremony. I know some folks want to take some family photos of their own. But, um, again, I want to welcome those of you who just got sworn in to the Clay County Sheriff's Office family. Those other family members who support them, thank you for allowing us to play with them for the next few years. And, um, you know, we ask that you support them. There will be some stressful times sometimes in the, in the course of their career. There will be some, although we have some seasoned veterans in there, there will be some first-time experiences for some, and they'll want to tell somebody about it. Guess who that somebody's going to be? That's going to be y'all. And sometimes you may get bored with hearing some of the stories. And then again, sometimes those stories are very exciting. But stories you will hear. And sometimes you may experience some of the feelings that they feel. But this is the future of the Clay County Sheriff's Office. And again, welcome aboard. One more round of applause for you. And thank you all.